Yeah, you, you don't you don't need to answer anything. I'm just on the line with you, okay? Yeah. Hello. That was intense. That was so intense. Whew. I so, mean, do you think it was like a self-defense situation? Self-defense. Like they were calling 911 because they were in a situation, mm -hmm. and then I think because you know how there was all like the tackling noises or the yeah. She must have somehow gotten the gun from the person, and yeah. then maybe she had her own gun. Maybe she had like a like a well, pistol in her stash. pocket. You know. <laughs> I like to imagine just everybody in the States has like one of those boots that has the little holster with the gun in it, you know? Oh. <laughs> like why else live in the States if not to own a tiny gun that you can hide in your in your in your shoe? No. Three and six? I still both of them. What did you use? Did you use a gun? Did you use a knife? No. Is a wire? I use a wire on the Neck. Wire. You use what, dear? Wire. Wire on their neck. You use wire on their neck? Yeah. What kind of wire? I don't know. They are not doing anything. They are just blue and they are like, they are not taking any breath and they are, uh, their heart is not beating. Because you killed them. Yes. Oh, man. I mean, that's one of those things where it's like, it sounds like whoever did that was relatively young. Like, they probably like didn't, like they knew they were like either mad or they wanted to get something, but they didn't like have any concept of the consequence. I don't even know, cause it was two people they did that to and if mm -hmm. they were young, then why didn't the other person just fend them off? Like it's a kid. Well, maybe it was like, maybe it was like I a- I think it's a young woman. Like a, like a, like a, like they're sleeping or something? I don't know. Could but be the that they were like intoxicated, could be any number of things. What's creepy is how calm she is. She's just like, yeah, I killed them with a wire. Yeah, yeah, wire. They're blue. Except they're they're, they're blue. doing that thing where they like trail up at the end of the sentence where everything kind of sounds like a question. <laughs> like, so a it's wire? like they're probably like, they're probably freaking out a little bit, but they're holding it together. They're not just like, ah! But they're like, they did it and then they called 911. Like, well, that's the thing is like the consequences then kick in. They're like, oh wait, they're actually dead. Like, yep, no, I, I guess I did that. Yeah. Because uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get away, and not you don't want to be it. like tackled by police officers. No. You want to just like be taken away in your cuffs. I'm not gonna talk about it. Nine one one, where's your emergency? I need an ambulance. I need ambulance, please. I don't care who. The fifteen six twelve Spring Hill. What's going on there? I just found my father murdered in his bathroom. <laughs> uh, you just what? I just found my father murdered, tied and murdered in his bathroom, and his car's been stolen. Okay, you don't have any idea what happened, sir? No, I just, I've been trying to get a hold of him for days, and I decided to come over to his house okay. and just watch Hold on death. one second, you're at 15612 Spring Hill, correct? Yes. Hold on one second, let me get him started that way, okay? Oh my gosh. God, it must have been so hard on him. Just to know that like, you'd been trying for days and it's like, if at any moment you're like, I'm just gonna go before then, like it could yeah. have been different, like that's gotta like weigh heavy on oh, you. Oh man. But honestly, the um, police dispatchers, they hear a lot of, yeah. good for them. They, I don't, oof, I can never do that. That's a heavy, heavy job. They hear a lot of stuff. And they always have to like stay calm. like calm, composed, ready yeah. to go. Like the guy in being, he's like, hello, what's your emergency? Yeah. Like he, he, you need to know like what to ask these people because they're going to be in hysterics. Oh, yeah. Like it's not going to be like something where they're like composed and ready to give you no. every piece of info that you need. The guy was smart though. He got his address out ASAP. Mm. And that's what you should always do. Yeah. I learned that from when like police officers came to like my school to do a little talk. They're like, if you're in an emergency, always see your address first. Cause there's been like so many times where people yeah. are like, I need help. And then like, and then the something happens or something happens. They're like, whoa, we don't know where you are. Yeah. So get your address out there first. There Ooh. you go. Hello everybody and welcome back to Top 10 Central Dark, your place for all things horror. I'm your host, Keegan Hughes. And I'm your other host, Lindsay Ivan. And today we're looking at scary 911 confessions. And they're pretty bad so far. Ooh. 
thought you were gonna say something there. Oh, I I couldn't think of anything good oh. to say. I was just not nodding. even a not even a yeah. You're right, Lindsay. Yeah, you're right, Lindsay. <laughs> Let's get to it. <laughs> nice. What? Green place. I can't. I can't understand the street. Green place. Green place. Green like the color. Yeah. What's the phone number you're calling me from? Okay. What? Tell tell me what happened. She cut me. Who cut you? Downstairs. I don't know. Okay, hold I on. Responded to. Hang on. Hold on. Please. I'm downstairs. Okay, who cut you? This girl I responded to was ready to look at. She's what did she cut you with? A knife. I'm pregnant. Oh my gosh. Do you think Green Place, like, it was like, because I've heard of like, streets being called like something place before. Yeah. Do you think she was saying like green place as in she was in a place that was green or that she was at oh, green place? That's a good thing because she didn't really get her address out. Yeah. She seems like she was fading in and out of it. I oh, hope that girl held on. She was bleeding. Ooh. Okay, and when you say he's down, what do you mean? She says he's, he's cold and he's not breathing. She says she's been trying to give him CPR. Okay. Is there any way you can get a phone, a cell phone, or something over there to him? Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm giving it to her right here. Here she is, right here. Okay. About a year ago, they text police to stop me in the middle of the night going up toward Raleigh. Hello, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Okay, can you get in there with him? I've been there trying to do mouth to mouth, but he's cold and stiff. Really cold and stiff. And I've been gone all day hunting for him because he's got a lot of mental problems and he likes to go down to Durham and Raleigh. That's rough. I, 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 I don't want to be a total pessimist, but I, I don't think once someone's cold and stiff, there's much you can do for them. I'm not looking too good. Ay, ay, ay. And the voice cracks are what get me. Like, mm -hmm. you're trying to stay strong and you're trying to, like, you know, hold on and, oh. <gasps> Drive. Okay, Mary, so I need you to tell me what the address is. <laughs> 255 St. Mary's, Ohio. What do you mean by you just told me? He was beating me. He was going to kill me. Okay. He had a knife. Okay, what, where's the knife at now? He's dead. He's in the closet. He's dead in the closet. Ooh. Again. I mean, I don't have anything to say. Oh. That's yeah. It's it's just like that's like an abusive relationship. Like that's self defense. Like what can you do? Mm -hmm. Unless she lied. But I don't even want to say that. That's so bad. Oh. You, 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 you gotta yeah. walk the fine line between skepticism and like. But honestly, that's what police think at first. They don't go straight to self defense. They like, they're like, was it really self defense? Yeah, or? they gotta discount all of the other options. They gotta <gasps> make sure they gotta get the whole story. 911, what is your emergency? Glendale Westgate, there's a guy shooting up everything with an AR 15. We have two people down on the east side of the parking lot of Westgate. Two people down, critically injured, AR 15. Listen, on the east side of the Westgate? Yes, by Johnny Rockets. There's two people down. We need an ambulance. We need PD fast. There's a guy with an AR-15. We're still shooting at Westgate. 911, what's your emergency? Oh my God, someone's shooting at Westgate. Hurry up, please. Where are they at exactly at Westgate? <laughs> They're shooting on the east parking lot. The first guy? They need to employ him. He was good. He just got all the facts out. He's yeah. like, we need an ambulance. These people are down. It's at this location. Boom, boom, boom. Down. He was ready. He was it sounded ready. Sounded like he's like, like he got like military police yeah, training. That's, like that's he my was first something. Thought, right? Is that you know he's up there. He does something like that. Mm -hmm. You're getting right to the point. And that's yeah. kind of like, it, it's kind of upsetting to think about that. Like in America, like that's something you have to be ready for. Is that somebody can just like, Sorry. what? How do you know it's America? AR-15? Come on. <laughs> What's the nursing say? Uh, I've, I've, I've stabbed my son and he's, he's in the bathroom. I don't know if he's all right about that. Right, what's your address? Uh, uh, Grove, Carrington Street. Yeah, were you in the place? Yes. Yeah. What's your son called? He's not, he's not, I think he's dead. How old is he? He's 26. What, and you've stabbed him? We had an argument, 
I didn't mean to. I mean, they never do. What happened? Sounds like somebody, he stabbed someone. Oh my god, it's his son. He said 26 year old son, no? He said my son. Did you say son? I thought so. I didn't hear that bit. Are you back into your Lucy voice? Yeah, it's just because he's doing a knock son. Ah, yes. So I'm copying it. They probably like, like it was. It, yeah, he didn't mean to because it's his son. Obviously, they probably just got you know, like well, a heated. I don't know if it was his son. I may have misheard. No, I, I mean that, that's that sounds about right because the guy didn't sound very young, right, to be yeah. hanging out with a twenty-six-year-old. Okay, Chris County nine one one. What's the address of the emergency? Yes, ma'am. I, I um I just shot my daughter and shot all my grandkids, and I'll be sitting on my step. And when you get here, I'm going to shoot myself. No. What is the address that you're at, sir? 2550 Northwest, 25 Paris, downstairs. They're, they're, every one of them are dead. Uh, you said your name is Don Spirit? Yep. Alright, Don, what kind of gun do you have? It doesn't matter what kind of gun I got, they're all dead, and then when you get here, I'll shoot myself, and then you figure out what kind of gun it is. My goodness. I know. I'm. I have nothing to say. That is. my heart. <laughs> That's not good. No, well, obviously it's not good. That's not good. Like, as soon as he's a daughter, I was like, my heart literally dropped. And then he said all the grandchildren. Oh. And the fact, like, I, I, I don't know what he's accomplishing by like calling the police and then telling him that he as well is going to shoot himself. Please help me, it's uh... <clears throat> Uh, 4777 Drive, Medina, what? Ohio, in the head. What? You what? I shot, I shot her in the head. Shot her. You shot who in the head? In the head? My, my girlfriend. Your girlfriend? How old is, is your girlfriend? Uh, four. I, oh my I, God, I can hear her in the background. I can hear her in the background. She needs help. Okay, do you uh, still have the weapon? I, I don't even know where it is. Oh, did you hear in the background like, 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 uh, like suffering? I, I, I didn't hear that. Oh but. man, in between him talking, you could hear someone in the background just go, uh, Oh my gosh. Oh, I did not like that. I literally took off the headphone. Oh, I did not like hearing her. No. That's wild. And to not know where the murder weapon is, like you've got to be in a state. Like he probably like like was like in and out of like yeah. like actual unless he tries to like dash it and hide it. That's true. Well, folks, what a cheery video that was, right? Hopefully, you're all doing okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay. I'm yep. gonna go cry. Yep. I'm, well, no, seriously, that was really heavy. That so was rough. You guys need anyone to talk to? Yeah. You maybe, maybe <laughs> let me know if this ever, you know, if I'm ever on the live chat again. <laughs> True. We'll maybe go watch that. a cheerier video, you know, go to regular Top 10 Central. <laughs> True. Oh boy. Yeah, check out some of our other channels. Bring them in. Also, stick around for some bloopers. We'll have a couple. <laughs> and these are the scary, no. Yep. We'll these are the scary, no. Um, What is this? Scary? Oh, 911. I honestly feel like this one's gonna make me so uncomfortable. Oh, I've heard so many 911 recordings that, like, I'm telling you right. Oh, we'll have to talk about that after. Like, a man saying that his mom died was. Oh, I can't. I'm like shaking. Oh. All right, fun. Let's do it. Cheery, we're, we're, cheery. We're real sad on this one. I'd hug you, but. <laughs> Sorry, hold on. All the comments are like, why is Keegan hiding behind Lindsay? I get edited behind. <laughs> Love it. They're like, Keegan, man up. You're behind Lucy. You're behind Lindsay. Stop hiding. I'm like, I just stand here. No, literally, it looks like you're terrified. Of I know. I they like, so, and they, they, they give me like a little bit of sway too, right? Yeah. Like they're like moving my image in and out. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Keep doing what you're doing. Okay. <laughs> Woo. Man. I'm sorry. I see this piece sticking up here and it's annoying me, but it's fine. It's not fine. Just gotta like throw some hair gel in there. See, that's why I just wear a hat every time I shoot, and then my hair is perfect no matter what. Until you see like the back of my neck and realize I look like a werewolf. Oh, you trimmed your hair. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you look like Ed Sheeran right now. Oh. I'm like looking around. I, I got somebody uh, message me saying I look like Chris Hemsworth, and I'll take that. I'll take that over Ed Sheeran. I think the eyes. And, and I think the little bit of facial hair like gives my face enough definition that I might someday be mistaken for like Marvel material. Maybe. <laughs>
Well, See, PSA. When you said when the police officers came to my school, I assumed it meant like you had gotten in like a crazy oh, fight yeah, and like stabbed no. someone. Oh my god, no. No, Is that's not you? Oh no, sorry. I mean, I'm so used to doing videos of Lucy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, it's probably right. I killed someone. <laughs> that's me. They've seen my face. Yeah, I'll just stab someone. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. You're next. You're gonna get stabbed next for this. She's gonna see this clip and be like, Lindsay. She's off the channel. <laughs> She's fired. She's I'm done. Sorry, it's we over. We were like, what's he so mean to Lucy? <laughs> no, we love each other. Stop it. <laughs> Roy, in it. You cut. You're gone, mate. <laughs> That's how she's really. <laughs> All of a sudden, Lucy's now Australian. Australian? I'm terrible at accents. I can't do it. I'm that sorry. That bad though, but... Oh, this is so depressing. This next one kind of looks like Adam Driver. Look at the Shopping. guy. Stop it! <laughs> he looks God. like Adam Driver, like menacing yeah. a young woman. Oh man, what is that movie? Uh, Marriage Story? Yeah, this looks like that movie. scene from Marriage That's Story literally where literally he punches the wall. <laughs> literally what I was gonna say. We're twins. A lot of people think we're twins in the comments too. We're on the same wavelength we here. Are. It's because we're actually this. We're the same height the right same now. Height There's height nothing height. below Lindsay no, that makes her same. taller no, than she actually we're is. We're literally the same height. Yeah, and I'm not wearing Air Maxes to get that extra no, inch of height. Not. No way. No. Mm -mm. Not at all.